Now at six, what's old is new. Hollywood is renovating the old armory building on Dixie Highway and Johnson Street five years after the National Guard moved out. Well, it will be a community center, including an indoor sports facility. Half of the money for the four and a half million dollar project comes from a 2019 general obligation bond. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten tells us the building holds a special place for some longtime residents. 59 years, that's the so, last time I was in here. I smell it, and it, it brings back memories just like that. In 1964, Lynn Cantrell was known as Lenny Baby, the girl with the dancing feet. Walking in here brought back some fun memories. It just starts flowing after that. She and her friends love to head over to the Hollywood Armory for the sock hop on those weekends when the Florida National Guard wasn't using it. We had dances here. They would set up a band, in fact, on this end, and we would come in through the main entrance, and um, it was crowded with kids. This is where the Florida National Guard's 1st Battalion, 124th Infantry was based. Soldiers were sent around the globe from here. The Guard left in 2018, handing the building over to the city of Hollywood. It was mostly used for storage for the last five years. Now it's getting new life. One of the most special pieces is this beautiful facade. It's iconic in the community. The building's been here for 70 years. It's time to really give it the love it deserves and refresh it and bring it back to life. Mayor Romanic is one of the architects who's doing the makeover, turning this rundown historic building into an indoor sports center, part of the Parks Department. We're going to have a uh, batting cage that will tuck up into the ceiling and then come down, two of them. We'll have new basketball courts. We're going to have bleachers along the side here. We're paying homage to the history of the building while bringing it to life as a new center for people to use. Karen Sashi is with the city of Hollywood. She said unique features like these huge fans will remain and be updated. One of the historic features that we're going to be keeping in this building is this old vault door that goes into the munitions vault. The plan is to also spruce up the soccer field at neighboring Dowdy Field as well as add community rooms. Lynn hopes kids will have as much fun here now as she did nearly 60 years ago. I'm really happy. Kids need a place to go. When I think about what an anchor it was for all of us kids, that's exactly what kids need now. So here's a timeline going forward. Construction is set to begin next month, then the whole thing should be completed sometime late next summer. In Hollywood, Ted Scouten, CBS News, Miami.